Hi guys, welcome back. Today I will be talking about Google's all new ADK or that is called as the Agent Developer Kit, which is one of the most amazing or more capable kit which is available for building an agent. If you've already seen my other courses in Udemy as well as in YouTube about the Langchain, also the Microsoft's Autogen, this new Google's uh, ADK or the agent development kit is quite amazing as well like other tools really available and this tool you can see that it can be used for building a, the multi agent as well so I'm going to quickly show you what I really mean about that so this is the agent development kit that you are seeing over here which got released like 12 hours before and I have just tried out and it's quite amazing this is what I have built based on their example and few of the things that you are seeing over here they have also got this uh, new UI which is also quite uh, amazing and intuitive because you can see that you can start building things very very easily you can also uh, create video attach the audios and also can attach the files and things this is available in the screen already they have got the events which is going to be called uh, between the interaction of the agent you can also see the states artifacts sessions and evaluations and you can also create the evaluation sets and things i will talk about them uh, in a minute but i will first show you some of the example what this particular agent is capable of so basically you can see that i have selected this multi agent which i have just created in my application and i'm going to say that hi how are you doing and if i hit enter uh, you can see that it is going to go and call uh, it's going to call a transfer agent and it's saying transfer agent is complete and then it's saying uh, hello and then it's going to call this tool like say hello so basically this is going to be called by one of the agent and say hello is the tool which has been invoked by this particular agent and you can see what is really happening and what's really going on there see that this is this version, uh, weather agent um, version 2 which is the actual like a root agent and this agent is registered with the greeting agent farewell agent Agent, and also there is a tool called as get weather so it's been registered with three of them but this time it has invoked the greeting agent because you just said hi and when I say uh, what's the uh, weather in uh, probably New York uh, something like this uh, you can see that it is gonna go and uh, invoke the get weather tool and it says the weather in the New York is sunny and it's bringing this particular dummy data for you. And if you go and hit this uh, get weather, you see that this particular agent, the weather agent, uh, root agent is calling the get weather uh, tool. And this is what has been invoked. And you will also notice there are some details about the content parts. This is the function response which is coming up. And it says the status is success. And the report, this is the response really coming up from that particular uh, tool for you. And it says all the details which is required for you. This is the timestamp as well, which is quite amazing. And now if I want to say, uh, all right, uh, see you tomorrow, something like that. And if I hit enter, now you see that this is a bye message. So it knows that this is the bye call that you're trying to say and it says, uh, say goodbye. And this is the tool being invoked. And it says the farewell agent has been invoked from this particular uh, a root agent so you can see that this is a multi-agent scenario where the agents are going to be there is, there is going to be a root agent which is going to transfer the request to multiple different agents and you're going to be getting the responses something like this over here so this is quite amazing this is something which is available in many of the tools of course langchain has it has got it also the microsoft autogen has got it but google's adk uh, keeps things more simpler comparing to the other tools because you see that this intuitive ui over here is quite amazing you can also see that by just hitting this token streaming over here things will be even more streamlined let's say i'm going to say uh, what's the uh, weather uh, in uh, new york if i just ask this you see that the response is going to be now streamed for you like this you see that, that it was very fast though but it is actually streaming it just by hitting this token streaming toggle there it also starts streaming it for you which is quite amazing and i'm also maintaining some session information here like uh, in memory session handling so that's the reason why i have got some uh, some sessions uh, details also being maintained for this particular user over here and everything i'm going to quickly show you in this particular video how i achieved writing this particular tool it is very very straightforward but again disclaimer you need to have a good understanding of langchain or any other tools like autogen before you get into this particular discussion that you're seeing in this particular video if you don't really have a prior experience of building an ai agent i highly recommend you to go and watch my video series which is available in udemy as a course where i have talked about the langchain and also how you can use the langchain from the complete ground up how you can build uh, the uh, the agents the chat model 
models or chatbots and also how you can build the the rack systems and also how you can test these systems together so this is available in my udemy course so please go ahead and watch there it is quite interesting and amazing this is something that you definitely need to know while you are going to be watching this particular video really because those are the stepping stone for you to watch this particular uh, video as well well as i said i'm going to start building everything from the scratch so let's stay tuned and again all the examples that i'm going to show you from in this particular video are going to be something just available in the documentation of the google's uh, adk get started page as well so you can, you can get the code from there as well so well as i said i'm going to start writing the code right now so i'm going to go to this agent development kit over here and i'm going to go hit this get started now uh, this is the installation part over here they say like you you got to install this pip google uh, adk uh, which is the thing that you have to install so i have uh, visual studio code opened over here uh, and i'm going to open the uh, terminal and i'm going to run this particular command i can create a virtual uh, directory over here like how they have mentioned so i can just say uh, python uh, v 3.2 something like this uh, over here this is going to create the virtual environment for me and then i can just say pip install oops sorry i'm going to source uh, to this particular um this particular virtual environment uh, and i'm going to say pip3 install uh, google uh, adk this is going to install the uh, the google adk for me uh, which is the uh, agent development kit and once it is installed i can then start creating things over here so basically the first thing i need is the um, is the actual uh, multi agent file which is going to be working with as well so i'm going to say uh, multi agent uh, dot py which is the python file and then i also need a uh, file which is going to initialize things for me so i'm going to say uh, init uh, dot uh, or init dot py something like this so this is the uh, initialization file which is going to be acting as a central point where it is going to have all the uh, initialization so i'm going to say import the agent uh, i'm going to say multi-agent oops sorry uh, there we go there we go and then i'm going to start writing the code this time so maybe uh, i'm going to just rename this to multi-agent without the uh, hyphen which looks good and i'm gonna say multi agent because there shouldn't be any hyphen there uh pretty cool uh now i'm gonna start writing the code i have already written the code i'm gonna just copy paste most of the code this time so that i can save times there uh and you will notice that the code is also very very straightforward i will explain each and every code to you and you will see how easy and amazing it is to work with so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna import certain uh, libraries in the uh in the code over here because these are things just required for me to start working with which is the agent runner uh, session uh, and the in-memory service because the in-memory service is the one which is going to be used to, to maintain the session for me and that is what i'm going to be using over here and then i'm also going to be using the dot env which is going to be used for me to uh, load the environment uh, file so i'm going to do that as well uh, and the env file is going to be something that i need to create and i have really not created that so i'm going to go ahead and create that uh, over here so i'm going to say uh, in this particular file probably like say dot env uh, and this env file is going to hold my google uh, api key that is what i'm going to be pasting over here this is my api key of the google and i've already created that you can also see in the probably in the quick start they will probably mention that that you need to have the google's api key somewhere oh yeah look at that this one so you need to have this particular thing over there and once you have this information uh, now we are pretty good to go and that's the reason why i have this uh, dot env which is going to load uh, things for me so basically you're going to say uh, load dot env and you're going to say dot slash uh, maybe dot env we just say dot slash uh, dot env which is going to load the uh, env file for me uh, and now i'm going to start writing the code for me so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a set of tools basically to say a high tool and maybe a buy tool which is going to be like a method as you are seeing over here so this particular method is going to say say hello and uh, you're going to be passing uh, an argument over here like provide a simple greeting optionally addressing the user by name uh, and this is the argument uh, and this is the thing that you have to pass 
and the tool is going to say hello to you once you pass this particular uh, question to it right and similarly there is a say goodbye this is another tool that we have got uh, which is going to provide a, a message saying uh, goodbye and you have a great day so this is the uh, this is the prompt that you need to be passing to the large language model while you are going to be invoking so these are the two tools that we have got and i'm also going to create one more tool which is the weather tool and the weather tool is going to look something like this this is a dummy weather tool as well because it's going to retrieve the current weather report of a specified city and the specified city is nothing but the new york so you if you give something else apart from new york it's going to return you a message saying the weather information for that city is not available something like this so this is what it's going to be returning for you over there so these are the three um, uh, three tools that i have got now i need to register these tools to uh, set of agents so that i can start working with so i'm going to first create what is called as an a root agent which is going to do things for me so i'm going to say root uh, agent is equal to and i'm going to uh, use this class called as e agent over here and within this agent you can pass a set of things that is required for you to work with the final thing is that you're going to give the name which you're going to say that this is a root agent uh, and uh, you can then uh, call the uh, model over here and this is where you're going to pass your actual model the uh, gemini model or you can also pass the uh, gpt model like the uh, uh, like the open ai gpt model or you can also pass the cloud uh, model as well there is something called as a light llm class that you can create and then you can start passing it from there so you can just use that one as well if you wanted to so if you can just say from google uh, dot adk dot uh, models dot um, light llm this one you can then import the uh, light llm something like this and this light LLM class as you can see over here is a wrapper around uh, a wrapper which can be used any model supported by the light LLM and this can be used to pass any type of model so you can pass the the open ai model or you can also pass the cloud models and things of that nature we're not going to be uh, looking at this particular thing in this particular video but i'm going to quickly show you what model that you can pass in i'm going to be passing the google gemini model this time over here so i'm going to create a, a model probably i can just give a, a variable here something like the uh, root model and also something called as a greeting uh, agent model so this uh, there are two models that i'm using this model is going to be the gemini 2.0 flash express model and this is going to be the flash model that i have got uh, and i'm going to be using these models over here so i'm going to say uh, the root models because this is the uh, root agent that i'm using over here that's the model uh, and then i need to pass a series of instructions and also uh, i need to pass the uh, the details over here but before i start creating the root agent i also want to create some agent which is going to say uh, hello and as well as the goodbye so i need to create two agents right now uh, and then i'm going to call those two agent as a sub agent to this root agent look at that so these are the three tools i have got and i'm going to register one uh, agent which is going to just say hello and going to perform the operation for hello and there is going to be another agent which is going to say goodbye and all the goodbye kind of operation uh, and the uh, the weather uh, agent is going to be registered on straight to the root agent so that it can just perform the, the weather operation and also is going to perform the sub agent calling which is the uh, which is the hello uh, uh, as well as the goodbye agent so that's something that i need to create before even i create this root agent so let me start creating those agent one by one so i'm going to first create this uh greeting agent which is going to be just a an agent which is going to perform the greeting operation let's say it's going to say hello and you see that uh, the tool which is registered for this is the say hello tool which is something that we have created over here as a method uh, and then i'm also going to create what is called as a uh, as a farewell agent and the farewell agent is going to look something like this i'm going to save that over here you see that the, for the for the greeting agent i'm going to say you are greeting uh, agent you uh, your only task is to provide a friendly greeting to the user uh, and you're going to be doing this this, this operation uh, and uh, uh, you're going to be invoking this particular tool say hello similarly for the farewell agent you are going to be performing this operation like farewell operation uh, and you're going to say thanks goodbye or bye see you soon something like that and you're going to be invoking the say goodbye tool which is the one that we have written over here so these are the tools which is registered to the uh, to these agents over here like greeting agent and the farewell agent 
now you got the idea like how things are going to pan out right and now the final thing is the root agent which is going to be uh, invoking our weather uh, tool and it's also going to be invoking the other uh, agents as well like the farewell agent as well as the uh, greeting agent together uh, so the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to create a description over here this is the main coordinator agent that handles the weather request uh, uh, greeting farewell to the specialist and what i'm saying in the instruction here is you are the main weather agent coordinator uh, coordinating a team your responsibility is to provide weather information and you also have got a sub agents over here see that is quite amazing so the first thing is i'm going to first register a tool over here which is going to be the get weather tool and i'm also going to be creating a uh, sub agents over here and in the sub agent i'm going to be passing the uh, greeting agent and i'm also going to be passing the farewell agent over here look at that that's how i pass the uh, tools sub agents and all the agents together which is quite amazing see this is how you create the uh, the root agent for you over there now we have all the agents uh, tools everything configured the final operation we have to do it is to invoke all of them together and that you can do using what is called as the runner class but before i even do that we also need to have a session information because you need to maintain the sessions and things so that we need to create it as well so for doing that i'm gonna go ahead oops i'm gonna go ahead and create things over here i'm gonna write few lines of code so basically i'm gonna say a uh, session service uh, service is equal to uh, in memory service something like this and I'm going to write a bit of a code, something like this over here. So this is the first application. This is the app name. This is the user ID, and this is a session ID. And I'm going to pass this to a session class. And this session needs to be passed to the add session to memory uh, over here in the session. Unfortunately, in the documentation, the the details was wrong. Uh, they have not given it correctly for the in memory uh, service for some reason. Uh, but I just figured out that we can pass it something like this, right? This is the only thing that we have to do over here. And now we have the session and the final operation is to invoke all of these together uh, as an agent so let's see how we can do that so the way we can do it is uh, I'm gonna say runner root uh, and in this runner root I'm gonna call the runner class over here uh, and I'm gonna give an app name which is going to be this app name uh, and then I'm gonna give the session service which is going to be the session that I just created on the top uh, and then I also need to give the uh, root agent or uh, agent uh, which is going to be the root agent so this is the things that i have to give over here so that it can be invoked for me right now that every single detail that i need is there already and you can see that just to recap once again what we have done we have created the sessions we have created uh, tools for say hello say goodbye and uh, get weather and then we also created the agents which is going to be doing specific operation one is for the hello uh, operation another one is for the goodbye operation and there is another root agent which is going to do a coordination operation with these tools uh, also with the agent so one of the tool is the get weather tool it's also going to coordinate with the uh, agent as well as the farewell agent and once it has everything over here we're going to be calling the runner which needs the name of the application and then it needs a session information and then the uh, agent which is the root agent which is the starting point of the agent that you're going to be calling in i'm going to save all these code over here and i'm going to run this code and i will show you how it can be uh, amazingly working for you so i'm going to open the terminal over here uh, and i'm going to say uh, python uh, sorry i'm not going to do anything over here there is something called as adk uh, web so this is something that you need to run over here so while you say adk web it is going to run the uh, agent development kit in the web mode and you will also notice that you can run this adk as a server as a web as a service but the one which i'm running over here uh, Oops, look at like, uh, I have one of these service already running in my other window. Probably I'm gonna close that. And now when I once I hit enter, you will notice that it is going to open a web version of the uh, the application for me, which is gonna be the one that I just showed you in the demonstration over there. Now you can see that we're gonna get the same kind of window over here. Uh, and I'm gonna choose the, uh, the multi-agent, that whatever name that I have given. Uh, and I'm going to say hi over here and you should see that we are going to start getting this uh, response that we were, sh uh, which, which I was showing you on the demonstration over there. Uh, and it is going to say the same kind of uh, operation that I was trying to do over there. Uh, and I'm going to say 
uh, buy and it is going to invoke the, uh, the the buy tool for me and it's going to run that particular agent. This is how we can work with the ADK or that is called as the agent development kit of the Google which just got released. And I'm sure there are so many exciting things that we can do with this particular tool. Uh, with this particular tool and i'm gonna be quite excited to see how we can incorporate this in my other courses but for now this is already looking amazing once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next ai thingy